over here to your yeah, gotcha. uh, just for you what sparks for you off the bench it seemed like you got going right away and then had a nice little series towards the like, last two or three minutes of the game as well um, I think the biggest thing for me was just understanding that this game meant so much more than just up and down. Uh, it meant a lot to the state of Kentucky, and I felt like I had to match that energy, and I felt like uh, when my number was called, just to make sure I was ready, and I was ready tonight. For both of you, you came out in the second half and held him scoreless for the for five minutes of, of the third quarter. Just talk about that defensive effort that you put upon them. Yeah, I think uh, coming out, uh, well, in the first half, we kind of gave them a run at the end. So we knew that coming out in the second half that we wanted to hold them. Uh, we focused on three stops in a row, and uh, that's what we tried to do. And yeah. yeah. Uh, pretty much the same thing. I think we uh, stick to the uh, scouting report. Um, our main thing was to frustrate uh, Ryan, but also understand that there are other good players on the team as well. But um, she was the head of the snake. So once we took care of that, you know, everything else was going to flow smoothly. Chelsea, obviously your first UK game. Just one, just thoughts on the rivalry, and two, how did you feel like you guys did defensively against Ryan? And she had nine points on, on three or 13 shooting. Yeah, um, coming from the SEC, I've played Kentucky quite a few times, so um, it was nothing new. And just having knowing that I'm on a team that has a rival, I mean, it's a big game, it's exciting, it's fun to play in. So I was definitely excited coming in. Uh, Ryan, she's a great player, so we just knew coming in that we had to um, lock her down and hold her to however many points that we could and get the job done. Uh, Chelsea, the, you and all only combined for 28 points tonight offensively. Uh, uh, yeah, good job. <laughs> and uh, on a night where the, we definitely needed some offense going late, uh, just talk about the, the, the mindset when you go to the basket with, with the opportunity to shoot. Yeah, um, we focus on a lot of going through people and making sure that to not always look for the contact and just finish through. But I think that everyone stepped up. Um, everyone in their, had their own roles and stuff like that. And I think everyone was able to knock down the shots when we needed it. Chelsea, defensively, you guys got a lot of steals today. It felt like UK's turnovers were a big difference in this game. What did you guys see, either maybe in scouting or film, that those opportunities would be there to get some steals and get in transition? Yeah. Um, just going off the scouting report and just following um, what we had planned, we knew that uh, in certain plays that we could get certain steals, certain options. So we just wanted to execute the game plan and get it done. Yeah, Alana, with about three and a half minutes to go, it's 54-53 Kentucky, and you, go, you all go on a big run to close it out. I guess what does it say about this team, just continued growth, to be able to close out a game like that and be able to get a big win against a rival like that? Um, I mean, it's what we work for every day. Um, we got to keep playing until the clock goes off. Um, and that's one thing that we really preach about. Um, we know that it was going to be tough all the way to the end of the buzzer. Um, so we just stick to the game plan. We stayed together. And I think we looked to the left and the right, and we trusted each other tonight. And that made the big difference, honestly. Chelsea, obviously, uh, at, at Vanderbilt, you knew about the rivalry against UK. Uh, has it sunk in to you yet about the Louisville-Kentucky rivalry? Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, they, this game was definitely circled on our um, schedule. So they, they were hyping me up. They were letting me know what, what it means to really be a Cardinal. So I was excited to play. Alana, well, question for both of you. One for you, Alana. I know Jeff has been on you trying to be more consistent on right. both ends of the floor. For you, just how, I guess, how good is it for your confidence to have a game like that? and then Chelsea, just comment on Alana Spark off the bench for you guys. Um, I mean, it's great. It's a great feeling, honestly. Um, last year, that's what I battled with, uh, being consistent. Um, and that was my main thing to work on going into the summer, into this upcoming season. Um, so I'm grateful for it. Like, this makes me so happy. I just scored 13 points. It's my highest here. Um, but also, it's the trust that my teammates have in me as well. That's what keeps my confidence going. You know, if I miss a shot, they're not like, don't shoot. They're like, keep shooting. And I think that's what helps me along the way, so. Yeah, and I think it's nice. Um, I get to see the behind the scenes and practice, and she's really been working. So it's just nice to see that it all pay off in the game and for her to step up and have this big moment. Proud Thank of her. Thank you, Chef. Uh, for for both of you, what does the successes of the Louisville volleyball team mean to you all as as, as fellow students of theirs? It's amazing. Um, anytime you get to see a women's team take it to the final four, it's amazing. And 
especially that it's a University of Louisville volleyball team in the Final Four, it just makes it even better. So I'm happy, I'm excited, I wish them the best of luck, and I know they're going to bring it back home. This one's for both of you. This was kind of a defensive game. You really had to kind of grind it out. Does it mean a little bit more to, to get one, like a tough win like this, where you really had to work for it the whole way through? Yeah. Um, yeah, we knew coming in that we had to get stops on defense, so we put a lot of emphasis on that in practice. And so just making sure that we knew what we needed to do and following the scouting report was like really important. So mm -hmm. just for us to follow it and get the dub, I mean, it feels great. Uh, just to piggyback off what she said, we had like a week of prep, and I felt like we used every day to the best of our ability. Um, and it paid off, so yeah. I'm excited. A uh, question for both of you. I uh, got to play at home in front of a crowd, a little over 12,000. In a game like this, big rivalry, close game, just how much of an impact does that make for you all with the crowd? Yeah, we knew that coming into this game, what had happened um, in other parts in Kentucky, so we knew that we wanted to just give um, the crowd something to cheer for, just play hard, because um, we're about to go home and there's other people struggling. So we just wanted to play for our fans, give them a great game, Absolutely. Uh, same thing. Um, we know that these fans put a lot of time and effort into coming watching us play. And um, we just got to give them a show. I felt like we did that. And we just have to continue. We can't let up. We can't get complacent. We got to keep going. Do you think that you can? We hear you. I hear you. We can hear you. Oh, OK. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, how did you all feel about yesterday at the volleyball game? You, got, you were dancing incredibly. <laughs> Oh, yes, we knew we had to, yes, mm -hmm. they, they gave us a little bit of pressure, so we knew we had to mm -hmm. follow up with uh, another win. So it, um, going there, I, I love cheering them, watching them play, so I just wanted to have fun. Absolutely. Chelsea, you, you mentioned, lack, maybe not lack it, but allowing Kentucky to get back in the game at the end of the first half. What was Wall's message at halftime? It seemed like, obviously, maybe the officiating kind of frustrated you guys. Just how did, what did he say to get you guys back focused for that second half? Yeah, he just said to, He'll deal with the refs us, and us just focus on the game. Um, we just knew that we needed to get stops and to focus on stops one stop at a time mm -hmm. um, and get a score. So he just put a lot of emphasis on defense and rebounding the ball. Sorry, I came in late. But I guess w with that juncture where they where Kentucky took the lead, I mean, what, what was he saying to you all about Maintaining your composure there, just specifically for, for Alana. Um, I think he told us straight up, keep our composure. Um, he told us from jump that it was going to come down to the wire, um, and I felt like just keep our composure, just stay calm, don't worry about the refs, let the crowd get in their heads, and just play our game. And I felt like we did that, and it was tough. Um, you know, they did take the lead, but we kept our composure. So. You guys talked a little bit about how you defended Ryan. It looked like you threw multiple defenders at her throughout the game. What was the main strategy of trying to slow her down and, and be physical with her? Yeah, it was just making her uncomfortable, um, making it hard for, for her to get the ball. Um, and we just knew uh, what she liked to do, so we tried to capitalize off of it and uh, play her hard. And also, to piggyback on that, um, our main thing was just to understand that she is going to score, but we can't hang our heads. We just got to get back and, you know, do better. <laughs> Anything else? Thank you all. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Hells up. Okay. Have a good one.